Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Here's the daily crumb to help you along your way. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day this is for you. And welcome to the daily crumb with me. Wiggy Schneefe, Michelle Clay, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman, was Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All of this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome all you beautiful divine beings right here too. And how goes it with you? It's a Tuesday for me. Tell it Tuesdays. Try it Tuesdays. Tempting Tuesdays. I don't know. Terror Tuesdays. I don't know. What is it for you? Is it even a Tuesday for you? Okay, now I put this... Okay. I took my little mic out to show somebody. Isn't that so cute? La, 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 la. Rock, rock it on. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, anyways, anyways. How goes it with you? Let's just dive right in here because I'm running a little late today. 1026 and I got to get on my class, my bold invisible advanced class. So a reflection jumped right up real fast. But we're going slow. Slow it down. It's okay. We Canadian or something, whatever. We ain't Russian. R U S H I N. No Russian. Okay, this is a 51, which is a 6. The perfect man of old looked after himself before looking to help others. Chan Tzu. Take some time to be outside this evening. Breathe in the fresh air and breathe out the stresses of the day. Watch the sunset or reflect on the vastness of the universe as you stargaze. Enjoy Mother Nature and all she has to offer. The perfect man of old looked after himself first before looking to help others. That's a six. It's materialization. Things coming in there. That's why we need to take care of our own self here first. Again, oxygen mask on. How can you be there for anybody if you're passed out on the floor? How can you be there for everybody if you've given out, given out all that you can and you have no more? You've depleted your resources, your physical resources, your mental, emotional, whatever. You've exhausted it all. That's when we need to take that time to fill up and replenish. And what are we replenishing with? Or are we trying to numb out and forget it all? I don't know. What is that for you? What is the care your body it's calling. What is it? What does it need? What does it need from you? Mm hmm. I don't know. Love that. Do you take care of yourself first? Do you feel guilty doing your self care? Mm hmm. Is there's others around that make you feel guilty for doing that because they didn't take the time for themselves? Right. I have people that say, oh, go take a nap. We'll take care of everything. Then get up from the nap and they say, it must be nice to sleep all day. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. <laughs> How is that helpful? You've had people in your life like that? Oh, sure, I'm here to help you. And then go, oh, my God, look at all that I do for you, and you're so ungrateful. Oh, and you're just taking advantage of blah, 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 blah. Everybody there with their hand out. Oh, yes, I heard that so much. So I would try bending over backwards to show I'm not taking advantage. And I do need that help. I don't know. What is that for you? How does that show up for you? Do you give self to Do you give self to your care? Do you give self to your care? Do you give care to yourself? Mm, 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 mm. Before you go looking to help somebody else. Or are you projecting your needs onto somebody else and then taking care of them when it's what you should be giving to yourself, right? Mm. Are you feeling resentful because the care that you need for yourself you're giving to somebody else? The care you need to give to yourself, you're giving to somebody else, and then you resent that somebody else you're giving it to? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. There's some thoughts, things going on there. There's the totem. And here's a path. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm flipping and switching, and yeah. 
going off with the doctors. I am. I'm being cut out of my children's life. It's all made up as this whole thing. Yeah, we all got mental health things. Oh, woo! Especially when it comes to abuse. Hmm, yes, because abuse can cause physical damage. It can cause literal brain damage. So, I don't know, we keep calling these survivors sometimes. Oh, that mental health, mental health comes from abuse. I believe probably 99.9% .9 of mental health issues comes from some sort of emotional or mental abuse. I don't know, don't mark my words for it. I don't know. But, you know, I, I, I bet on that for sure. Generous protector. Generous protector knows for sure. That's the laws, right? When we treat people like shit. When we keep picking at them and picking at them and picking at them. We have an effect on them. I don't know. What is that? You need to be a generous protector for yourself and not continue to do that. Now, look at that inner wisdom. Don't stun the people. We don't stun the people no more. Knowing in the records revealed. What is that? Hey, hey, hey. And our littles. These were generous protectors of ourselves when we were children, right? We block out, we disassociate. These are all the brain's fabulous superpowers to keep us protected, to help us make it and survive to, you know, adulthood. I don't know. What is that for you? Let's thank these, these littles inside that have protected us and got us through. Mm -hmm. It's a law. You, you would not be here if this baby hadn't survived through everything. Well, not this baby, that's me, but you know, the one in you. You would not be here if that little in you didn't do what it needed to do to survive and get through. Hmm. I don't know. What is that for you? So the path and totem that came out, we have that power place, that earth connection, tapping in to that place, that em empowerment, not power over. It's empowering because sometimes Rose has been abused. You know, they're trying to balance out that imbalance of power, right? And they try to get their power back by getting power over somebody else. And that's how abuse continues and continues and continues. Because everybody that's abused anybody has also been abused themselves. These are the cycles that we keep repeating. And some don't even realize it because this is their normal. This is how they grew up, right? It's up to us to start expanding our knowledge, right? What are the stories that we keep weaving? What are the stories we keep continuing to tell? So we keep weaving and keeping ourselves stuck in these cycles. It's time for us to get out of there, all right? We're all part of the great big web of life and everything we do has an effect on somebody else. Look at this, a seven and a seven come together. So find that power place within you, that empowerment. See, be thankful to that little, what that little went through and all these survival mechanisms that we have built in that we don't have full control over. They're autonomic responses, automatic responses. But once we tap in and see that maybe we can start using them, transforming them into superpowers because now we can use them at will, right? We can use them at our will and not just for automatic defense, right? Hmm. I don't know. What is that for you? Of course, there's always going to be autonomic responses that we do not have full control over. And those are there to keep us alive, to help us to survive. Let's use them to thrive. Hmm. I don't know. What's that all saying to you? Beautiful beings. Okay. Got to go to my bold invisible class. All right. Love you all. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes. Thank you for being you and shining your light through and everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you to be you, fully holy and true. Don't let this world miss out on all that's you. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. And make this another wonderful, blessed day. All right. Love you all. Mwah. Thank you.